So they had the, uh, you know, the small 12-inch incense. They also had those too, right? Yeah, and, and just like I said before, this was back in the 70s. This was in the 70s, right? Um, yes, it's, <laughs> it's been it's been over 30 years already, right? Well, actually, over over 40 years, man. It's been 40, 46 years to be exact. If my calculations is right, 70, yeah. Yep, it's been 46 years to be exact. It's been almost 50. This is ha that's amazing that this has been almost 50 years ago. Almost 50, 46 years ago. Almost 50 years ago. Where this, you know, and, and it was owned by Jews. It was owned by Jews. The Jewish people, they owned this. And a lot of the Muslim brothers, th this was a, a, a company, by the way. It was a factory. Right, and, and this is what they did: the incense oils, right, and the incense itself, the incense oil and the incense itself. Now, what they used to do back in the day, what they used to do back in the day, they used to actually they used to have something called the uh, the shell, right? They used to have something called the shell, where they didn't have the concept that we have now. The concept that we have now, when it comes to the um, the incense, is it's, it's, it's much more of a safer process right now. It's a safer process. But back in the day, the process of how they actually made the incense oil was actually, it was uh, more harmful. It was much more harmful. They had a lot of uh, harmful effects. So much, And that's the reason why a lot of the guys that used to do it from that process right there, a lot of them, they shut the, they shut the shops down. They shut the corporations down. And one of the reasons why was because um, it was harmful. Just like I said, it was very harmful. You know, the, I'm talking about the process in which they would actually make the incense. The process in which they would actually make the incense was very, um, you know, a lot of people would get sick. The Jews that would be working there, they would get sick, right? Um, even the Muslim brothers that would actually... Um, buy the stuff from there. They will actually buy the stuff from there. They will also get sick too. They will also get sick too. So it, it was because and because it was really harsh chemicals. It was very harsh chemicals that a person, you know, breathing that stuff in, it affects their body. So um, yeah, what they would do is they would um, a lot of people would get sick. You know, the the scent the scent chemical stayed on their clothes. They get sick. And so a lot of them, they stopped it. But the process that we have now, when it comes to making incense now, is much more easier. It's, yeah, it's much more easier. Very much more easier. It's much more easier. That's the first thing. And the second thing is um, it's safer. It's much, much more safer. Much more safer. And just like I said before, this was back in the 70s. This was back in the 70s. Um, by a Jewish guy, most people they don't know this. Now, the one thing that I can say for sure is that the incense they were very potent. They were very potent. They were very potent. And for the people that actually bought the incense, you know, they can testify that they was really good quality. But now that that was the ending process for the people who actually bought it, right? But the people um, that actually made it, they were the ones who were going through the harm, right? And so I think that's one of the reasons, the reason, I forgot what the uh, the actual um, chemicals that they use to make the incense. Now we have, now of course, we now we have DPG. But back in the day, it wasn't DPG, it was called Shell Something. Shell Something, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, that that's pretty much what it was. That's pretty much what it was, and that was back in the 70s. That was all the way back in the 70s. Yep, so that's, um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to uh, recap that. Uh, you know, I wanted to add some extra information up on it because I was talking to a brother who actually gave me this information before. And, you know, his he was kind of right to some extent, but, you know, he he didn't have, he said, the I think he told me the 40s, but it was actually the 70s because um, he came after. This guy I'm talking about now, Oils and Incense by the Jewish guy, they actually came after uh, Professor Hassan. And the other brother that was on Lafayette um, was um, Taj, Taj, Taj Perfume Incense. They actually came before. So that's pretty much it, you know. So just to keep you guys recap, um, this is your guy, Professor Samuel Goodson, Rome Academy. Thank you all.